So it's been announced today that this KSI Logan Paul fight, which is a professional fight, a six rounder, is now going to be shown on Sky Box Office pay per view in the UK and Ireland. Okay? Now, I've done hardly any videos on this purely because I'm just so just disinterested in this fight. If it even is a fight, it's a glorified, what, exhibition, realistically. Logan Paul and KSI, I I kind of show my ignorance here. I never even heard of either guy until they had their, we'll say, glorified exhibition last year. And I only really heard about it on the day of the fight. Because I was hearing about Shannon Briggs, MEN, kind of stuff like that. And I heard about Eddie Hearn trying to cash in on this. And which he is, he's trying to cash in on it. You know, he's trying to cash in on this fight because both guys are massive YouTubers, okay? And both guys have followings. And the main reason he's putting this on pay-per-view is because of the casuals. Because fights like this and fights like Mayweather-McGregor are fights that the casuals just attach onto and lap up. Because they think that that's compelling view and they think that, you know, that's what boxing's all about, you know, WWE kind of stuff. You know, where it's more about the build-up as opposed to the actual fight. And, you know, they kind of get sold a bill of goods at the end of the day as well, as with Mayweather McGregor. Majority of people thought McGregor would win that fight, which shows, you know, the kind of fans we're dealing with in terms of casuals. They don't know any better. So I, I can definitely see a lot of casuals lapping this up. I mean, at the end of the day, we're having a main event, which is a six-rounder. A six-rounder main event. When do you ever see televised shows have six rounders as the main event never never is the question never is the answer i should say on this undercard we obviously have people like devin haney okay who was in a 12 rounder and we also have billy joe saunders who'll be making his matchroom debut and he will be defending his wbo super middleweight world title against this guy his name is mark marcello esteban Caresis, I think is how you pronounce it. His record is 28 and 0 with one draw. He's 15 knockouts. He's from Argentina. His nickname is El Terrible. I really hope that that nickname doesn't reflect his boxing. Now, I'm on his box rec here. Okay, and interestingly, he's been campaigning at middleweight. He actually only fought there on the 21st of September, 10 rounder. And that was for a WBA middleweight kind of tricket title. So he won that via UD against a guy 7-5-5. Five, and five, So not exactly stellar opposition. Uh, but yeah, he's been campaigning at middleweight. So Billy Joe Saunders, realistically, he's not fighting a middleweight. He's not fighting a super middleweight. He's defending his world title against another middleweight. Because as we know, Billy Joe Saunders is in fact a middleweight. Now, looking at this guy's resume... There is no names on it that I remotely recognise. He had a split decision draw in his second pro fight, in which he was down in that fight against the guy 3-2-1. and one. And to be honest with you, these, these wins against guys I've never heard of, they don't exactly have good records. So to me, this looks like a guy with a very, very padded record. Doesn't appear that Billy Joe Saunders will have too much trouble with this guy. I can't imagine Billy Joe would re would even break a sweat against this guy. So it looks like a fairly routine title defence for Billy Joe Saunders. And in a nutshell, this whole undercard is not looking particularly strong. The fact that it's pay-per-view, to me, is a head-scratcher. Eddie, I, I know why it's pay-per-view. I shouldn't say head-scratcher. But to me, it's a head-scratcher why people would actually lap this up. Because at the end of the day, you're talking about two guys who are not even amateurs. Who are going to go in have a professional fight. And casual fans are just going to lap this up. They're going to buy it. But as hardcore fans who want to see guys like Devin Hay. And you want to see Billy Joe Saunders. Going to have to pay for this. Now I myself will watch Billy Joe Saunders. I'll watch Devin Hay. I won't be paying for it. I'll go on to VipBox. Stream this. And watch it live. Probably watch it live. I like Billy Joe Saunders. So that's kind of what I have to say to that. Eddie Hearn. I mean. At the end of the day. Should I criticise him? Well yeah. Because he. he He's putting on, essentially, I thought the recording stopped there, that's why I paused. He's putting on a show that, in hindsight, nobody really wants to see from the hardcore point of view. They might want to see Devin Haney, they might want to see Billy Joe Saunders, they're not going to want to see KSI versus Logan Paul. I sure as hell don't. 
But at the end of the day, he's only doing what other promoters, I'm sure, would do, given half the chance. They're trying to make a fast book. He's trying to make money. He's trying to gain subscriptions for the zone. And I suppose this is the way he's going to go about doing it. At the end of the day, like he's doing what I'm sure other promoters would do in that situation. I'm sure if you offered, probably not top rank or Frank Warren because they're a little bit older, but I'm sure if you offered someone like an Oscar De La Hoya or someone like that, they probably would take it just because they're younger, essentially, and they kind of understand the market. That's just my way of looking at it. I could be wrong. But still, like the fact it's pay-per-view, the fact that they're trying to sell this as a legitimate fight is really silly. I even saw Eddie Hearn there saying that he would love to sign Conor McGregor to a boxing deal. I forget what interview I've seen that with, but I've seen Eddie Hearn do that. At the end of the day, that's another cash-in and cash-out kind of mentality. It's trying to get money in as quick as you can to build subscriptions and to build viewers. Obviously, if Eddie Hearn was... This, I mean, McGregor's not going to sign with Eddie Hearn, but obviously if he was... He wouldn't obviously try and build McGregor. He'd obviously put him in there against somebody like a Canelo or against someone like a Callum Smith, just assuming, to lose, but to get money. That's obvious. So that's the kind of way I have a looking at this. You know, at the end of the day, I won't be watching the main event, but I will watch Devin Haney because I like Devin Haney, and I will watch Billy Joe Saunders because I like watching both them guys fight. Billy Joe Saunders, he won't be in there with much, but at the end of the day, we get to see Billy Joe. We get to see him with Dominic Ingle. I think he performs best with Dominic Ingle personally. So, we'll get to see a bit of Billy Joe. Those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think. Will you be paying for this? Or will you be streaming it? As I said, I'll be VIP-boxing this the whole way through. I'll be watching the main event, but I'll be watching the fights on the undercard, definitely. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will talk to you after.